last video uh, came out real crappy. I was I was a little disappointed in how I handled class yesterday, and I apologize. These are tougher hands than we know, have been working on, um, and I turned to them because I wasn't really ready to move on to the next section just because I was really busy at work, um, and, I, and I apologize, and I promise to do better in the future. Um, but I did think these hands were fun and uh, you're and 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 valuable even you know if you feel as though you're uh, um, that they were a little thick yesterday I think I think you'll appreciate these as, as time comes in the future and um, and, and there's stuff to learn here and uh, so anyways we're going to start with just the hands the, this these are prepared hands from uh, play of the hand with easily blackwood or play of the hand with blackwood it's called and yes it's that blackwood and uh, these are in the is chapter five of the book. It's a classic. Um, chapter five of the book under a sub subsection called uh, Promoting Intermediate Cards. And as we'll see, what we're looking for is trying to make something out of these jacks and nines and tens and eights and smaller cards that we have. And uh, what it requires is to be to first, most basic level, to observe them, to see them, because a lot of times we are dazzled by long suits and and face cards, and uh, it might be that uh, the the saving tricks are the nines and eights in our hand. So on this hand, um, a bit of probably a difference of opinion. When I know I'm going to rebid no trump, I normally bid a a club instead of a diamond on these hands. This is completely wrong, by the way. Uh, probably, um, you know, if if uh, if you ask a teacher, they'll probably say, no, 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 don't do that. But, uh, um, so we get a pa uh, a bid there, a pass, um, and I bid the one no trump. Right? This is the f lowest rung of our no trump ladder. It's a uh, bid showing 12 and 14, balanced hand. Um, and if we had a slightly stronger hand, of course, we'd be opening one no trump. Um, there's a pass on this hand, and then we get a bid from from um, north that everyone should learn. And this is called new minor forcing. And basically, this our partner has at least invitational values. And he's asking whether you have a first, tell him if you have a three-card heart suit. If you don't have a three-card heart suit, tell him if you have a four-card spade suit. Now, of course, you probably don't on this auction. You would probably bid the spades to begin with. So you can almost count on the fact that either he's got a five-card heart suit or he's just trying to keep the auction alive and, uh, and wants to go to the game. Um, but... Our responsibility, of course, is to um, is to respond whether we have it, and when we do that, we are going to also show whether we have 12 or 13 points, or whether we have 14 points. And uh, seven, eight, nine, four. So I have 13, so I'm going to deny having uh, hearts by bidding two no trump. Okay, so I'm saying I don't have three hearts. I'm also saying I don't have four spades, which he probably already concluded already. And apparently our partner has a good hand because he just goes ahead and puts us in no trump. Opposite what could be 12 points. We get the queen of spades. So on this hand we have two spade tricks. We have four club tricks for six. And we have two diamond tricks for eight. So we only need one more card to make our game. Right? One more trick to make our game. And in class, um, and I, I would have predicted this in the group in a group of many birch players um, that had very differing lovers. So I want to ask, are we going to try for our tricks in hearts or diamonds? Right? We don't need to think about clubs or spades because there are no extra tricks in those suits. Um, um, some said hearts, and that's because we're used to it. And this is what I mean. We're dazzled by long suits and, and honors. And sometimes that that will get our attention so quickly that we won't think it through um, and, and take a look at that other suit. You know, we're looking for one trick. We have the ace, king, jack, nine, meaning that in diamonds, only the queen and ten are missing. The ten being the critical card here. If the ten of diamonds is doubleton in either side, we can drop it with the ace, king. 
Right? If the ten, ten of diamonds is a singleton on either side, or the queen is a singleton on either side, we will get an extra trick. Um, if if the uh, ten of diamonds happens to be lie between the jack and the nine, we can be able to finesse it. So there's lots and lots of opportunities here in the diamond suit. And if they don't pan out, well, we can always go back and take a lead at the king of hearts and hope that the ace is in west. But that's a guess, right? And, and we have multiple opportunities to score a trick in diamonds. So what we really want to do in this hand is play diamonds first. And we want to play them in a specific manner, which is we're going to keep the lead. We can't protect the spade suit, right? So we can't like fiddle around here. We have to play the diamond straight out. With hopes that um, that we will drop the 10. Yeah. Let me see what happens. And there it comes. Right? So now we have the jack nine and only the queen is out in diamonds. So what becomes our winning trick? A diamond. Just lead another diamond. It's a big signal there from east. So maybe that means east has the ace queen, which means that leading at the heart was a losing proposition. Um, the diamonds comes down and uh, he will probably shoot back a heart. Now this is not as dangerous as it seems anymore, right? Because we have, uh, we're going to have a stopper. Say we play the king, right? Well, give us him the queen. Whoops, queen. But what does he lead? Right? He can't lead the hearts anymore. He has to get back to his partner's hand to lead through the king, and it just won't happen. We've got the ace of spades, so he can't get there with the spade. He can't get there with the clubs, because we own them. And he can't get there with a the diamond, because he's out of them. Otherwise, he wouldn't have played the ten. And we have the, the top trick there. So this hand is over at this point. There is nothing to be done. In fact, if he plays a heart, he runs the risk of giving us a heart trick. So the hand is, is over. He would probably, you know, he probably first lead was a spade, maybe lead the spade, you know, just in case uh, there's a problem. Uh, he knows his partner has honors there. Right? And now, and now we have nine of diamonds. We have the king of hearts, and we have all of the clubs. Right? Six more tricks, adding up to nine, so we can claim. Does everybody see how we have nine tricks? We have three in the pocket right now. We have the king of hearts for four. We have the nine of diamonds for five, and we have four club tricks uh, to make nine. Right? So we set up the nine of diamonds. The nine of diamonds became the winning trick. Right? So this is this is um, th this is what I mean. The first thing you have to do to be able to make these tricks score is you want to. Um, is you need to see them. You need to see the possibility. And that's why I think this, this will be helpful no matter where you are in your bridge journey. Um, all right, so we have 6, 12, 14 points in our hand with a long heart suit. And there's a pa uh, one diamond opening to our left. Pass. And another pass. And it comes to us. And, of course, we're going to bid that heart. Two clubs here is a pretty strong bid, right? He's not giving up. And you can figure he's 5-5 five, five or 5-4 five, in the minors. He's not going to bid a three-card club suit there. Maybe he's got, even got six diamonds. Um, but it, I would suggest that at this point you might conclude that he also has 13, 14, 15 points. And our partner has three hearts for us. Right? He's showing at least three. He doesn't know that we have a long suit. So now we know we have a 10-card trump suit. So 10-card trump suit, a stiff diamond, which is West's first suit, just a doubleton in clubs, and we have ace, queen, and spades. We'd love a spade lead. We probably won't get it unless uh, West has a stiff. Um, and it's just trying to get rough. But uh, um, given his shape, right, we know he could be 5-4-2-2 two, two, or 5-4-3-1. Um, 
and maybe even have a boy. And since we have lots of hearts, maybe he has a heart boy. Let's put all the hearts to our right. But in any event, it looks pretty good. I mean, we're looking, you know, we want our partner to come down with the king or jack of hearts. Oh, Paul, people are greedy. And we'd love to see him have an ace, either the ace of diamonds, which seems unlikely, or the ace of clubs. But we know he has probably seven to eight points. He wouldn't have opened his mouth with, with less. And, um, and so he's going to show us, he's going to have something. Right? So this is a good hand to go to game on. We're not counting points. Right? We're looking at how how the hand will play. And we think that if our partner will just cover one of our losers, it's going to play pretty good. Right? So let's see what, what he's got. And we get the Ace of Diamonds lead. So partner has eight points, thank you, all right, to go with our 6, 12, 14. So we got a, a uh, 14 and uh, 8 is uh, 22. So we got a pretty good 22-point game, given that we have uh, only one diamond loser. And partner came down with the King Jack of Hearts, saving our heart suit for no losers, and also covered one of our losers in clubs. Right? So if we count our losers right now, we have two spade losers, the diamond loser and a club loser. So we need to get rid of one loser. Now, if we're, if we're bedazzled by uh, finesses and face cards, we probably think, oh, well, this is cool. I'll just get up in uh, the dummy. I'll take a, and I'll finesse the queen of spades, the ace queen. But think about it. We have, if we have 22 points and and West has a pretty strong hand, which he certainly showed with his bidding. If he has 15, 16 points, then, you know, the odds that East actually have the King of Spades are, are pretty short. Um, one thing, I mean, while the points lean against it being there, of course, distribution sort of favors East having it, right? Because West should only have a couple cards, three at the most, and, and four at the most in, in the Spades. Um, but... Uh, But what I'm suggesting is that it's it's not even really a 50% chance, right? Because it's more likely that West has the king than East has the king. So 50-50 isn't one hand being more likely to have it. So I think the spade is the wrong way to look at this. Instead, if you look at your ace, queen, 10, 9, 8 of diamonds, then suddenly there's a possibility that appears. Right? The possibility is that you can drive out the king and jack and score the eight of diamonds. Now, you could score the Ten of Diamonds if you want, but they're all equal, and it looks better style-wise if you win that set up a little tiny card rather than a big card. Um, so the way to play this is to go ahead and now if West has the King Jack, which seems like you know, at least King, right? then he doesn't want to lead it again. Right? So we got four down. If you start with five, He's got, you know, and then we're looking at a hand that was 5-4, 3 diamonds in east, and 1 diamond in west. So 5-4-3-1. Uh, if he had more than that, then, of course, he would just have 2. So starting with 6 diamonds. But in any event, uh, he switches. I think he probably would play the king of diamonds if he thought his partner had 2. So I'm, I would conclude at this point that he only had 5. Because if he thought his partner had two, he would give him rough. And he knows that we were stiff, right? Because why else would we play the queen? So we win the club. Don't want to just give, you know, don't want to give him that. What we'd really like to do is, is get rid of that card. And now we and now we force out the diamonds. Okay? And we do that by leading a diamond. And we don't rough it. We get rid of that club loser. Right? And now... Uh, Wes will take his jack of diamonds and he'll continue on, hoping to score a club here, having driven out the ace of clubs. But he'll be disappointed when we rough. We might want to take a round trump here. We need two trump for entries. It would be a shame to get uh, the diamonds trumped when there's only one left. And now go ahead and use this as an entry. And now you will have driven out the last trump, and you'll still have an entry to the board um, with the other with the other trump. So leads a leads a heart and 
get the spade, and we'll play a diamond. Here's the last trump. We play a diamond. There's the third diamond from wet east, so it was 5-3. This one, do we rough it? No. We don't want to rough. We want that king of diamonds to fall. Right. So we took 10-9-8-4 to 4, right? 10 9 8 4 in the dummy, and we turned the 8 of diamonds into it. And we did that because we recognized the possibility that 10 9 8 with the queen in our hand meant West only had, you know, three diamonds that were critical to us. And we got, you know, he got them all. Uh, whoop de doo um, We don't really care because we have the eight of diamonds as the highest card. Now, there's nothing he can do. West can lead a spade, then we into our ace queen, and of course, then we would score those two, tr trump her out, and we would claim. We would claim when a spade hit the board. Um, he can lead another suit. He could lead clubs, but we'll simply rough, lead back up to the king of hearts, play the eight of, ace of diamonds, and pitch the queen of spades. So we never took the finesse. We ignored the 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 uh, the uh, attractiveness of the face cards and, and finesses, and we looked for a solid, um, more uh, obvious and sure way to score our tricks. I guess if I were, he might actually give you that, hoping that maybe that there was another trump in East hand. He doesn't know he started off with seven, so he's looking for a rough here. Um, and he, of course, is uh, disappointed to see that that does not exist. And you pitch your losing spade. And now you have the rest of the tricks. So a very cool hand, right? Again, observation first. Is there a chance that this 10 9 8 fourth can become an extra trick for us? It sure is. Right? We don't, all it's missing is the King Jack after the Ace of Diamonds lead. We're more than happy to take a shot at that. All right, so here we have 16, 17, 4, 21, a balanced 21. Okay, this is on our notes up the ladder for showing balanced hands with 20, 21 points. Get stamen. That'd be Sam Stamen, I think, if you're learning the first names of important conventions. Oddly enough, when you go to find well, who what was Eleven Saul's first name, you'll discover that there is no Eleven Saul. Proper way to spell that word is with a is with a small L, I guess. There is no Mr. Eleven Saul or Ms. Eleven Saul. No one's ever been able to track down who invented that incredibly useful. Gadget. So we get to three no trump. And passes out. And um, what do we get for a lead? Ten of clubs. So seven points in the dummy to go with our 21 is 28 points. So uh, there are 12 points out. Um, no one had a kind of suit that can, you know, a long suit or anything. I'm not sure what it would be. We're so balanced. But nobody's nobody's out there with a six, seven card suit where they thought they could jump in at two no over the two no trump. Um, so we don't know a lot. Um, the ten of clubs is an interesting lead. Not sure what it means, uh, except that it's the fifth highest card, right? The Ten of Clubs, and we've got four club tricks, so clubs aren't scaring us. They're basically nice passive lead, giving us what we're always going to get. Sometimes when you're playing defense, that's the best thing to do. Just give the declare what he's going to get on his own. Or make him work for the intermediate honors, right? You're holding queens and jack tens and kings and stuff. You don't, you don't want to underlead them all the time, which I see constantly, because basically you're just giving them away. Um, 
So unless you absolutely need to find your partner with the ace of clubs or something, you don't want to lead low when you're holding the king. So anyways, the points are likely fairly split. Um, and um, at least that's a good place to start. We have six spades, we have seven hearts, we have six clubs, we have seven hearts. So it's, everything's really balanced. So let's count our winners. Ace, king of spades, ace of hearts, that's three in the majors. Then we have five in the minors. So we're missing one trick. And the question is, where do we want to find that? So on any of the seven card suits, right, hearts or diamonds, it's possible we'll get a length trick if they break 3-3. Three, three. So that would get us a ninth trick. Um, but if we want to be a little bit more aggressive about it, um, we can think about the intermediate cards in the diamond suit and the heart suit. Once again, we don't really think we're going to score extra tricks in the black suits. And kind of look at them, see which one has the better, better intermediates. Like, which one do you hold most of the higher cards? And we find that in the heart suit, we have ace, queen, ten, nine. All right? Now, that's something to work with. We're just missing the king, jack. So the question becomes, how do we score this? How do we get to that point? Um, it may seem just, a, I mean, we've talked a lot about leading at honors, but we're not really trying to take a finesse here. What we're trying to do is set up, set up, uh, the ten or nine of hearts. And of course, I suggest we set up the, the nine of hearts because it looks better. Right? So, win these types of tricks with your highest honor because it makes it look like East might still have a lower honor. I think the way to do this, um, and the book agrees, start with your ace. Right? And basically, we're hoping for a doubleton or, or to jack to fall, that would be sweet, right? But even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't, right, there's the king. Now all that's up with the, is the queen. Does it fall here? I mean the jack. No, it doesn't fall. So West has the jack of hearts. He continues a club. Right? Maybe you should have gotten a little desperate here and let a spade or something. But I'll have them continue with the club. It really doesn't matter in the end. Um, and we had carefully played our highest card to begin with to make it look like there was a possibility that East had club honors. Um, if he plays the seven, he gives us our our ninth trick immediately. So he probably won't. He'll probably go up. Now you know it's his la he's, he's worried it could be his last trick. East gives him a signal, you know, well, I've got something in spades. Um, may or may not be the best idea, but it really doesn't matter once again, right? Because we've got three tricks. We've got the ace of diamonds for four. We've got the ten of hearts for five. We've got the queen jack for six and seven. And we have the ace king, right? Ace king of spades for eight and nine. So the Nine of the ten of hearts becomes the the uh, winning trick, our ninth trick, so to speak. And we did this um, by leading our honors and promoting an intermediate honor. Right? We saw that that ace queen uh, here. I'll claim so we can see it. That that uh, that ten nine five three combined across from the ace queen third created a situation in which all we had to see was an honor drop, or even if the honors didn't, even if the honors weren't double, um, we were still able to win because uh, the king and jack um, um, were forced out, promoting the ten. And that's where I'm going to I'm going to stop this screen recording um, because I got to make a phone call for business, and then I'll be right back. I'll make a part two of this movie. So hold on.